Hey guys, how's it going? Andrew here, Enough Said Cards on Sunday morning. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, it's been a few weeks since my last video and I have some pickups that I want to show you. And I'm also going to discuss the Philly non-sports card show that I attended yesterday. Uh, I have a lot of stuff to show and I don't want this video to drag on for too long. So let's get right into the cards. We'll start with this one. Um, this is an N184 John L. Sullivan from 1887, the Kimball Champions set. And I won this in an REA auction that ended a few weeks ago. Uh, this is a pretty tough card to find. Uh, I have the Annie Oakley card from this set also. I really like the look of this set. And it's a SGC2. It does have some standing on the top. And you can see that bottom left corner is kind of clipped off. But again, these are pretty tough to find. I was happy with this one with the price I paid. There was a higher graded example of this card in the same auction. Um, I think it was like a PSA 6 or something like that. It sold for like $9,000. And I got this one for way less than that. So I was happy with that card. Uh, next up. T206 Rube Waddell Portrait. This is a PSA 4. Uh, this is a card that I looked for for a really long time. I was trying to wait for the perfect example and saw this one in a Facebook group that I'm in. It popped up late at night and I just immediately bought it, contacted the, the guy that was selling it and bought it. Uh, I really like the, the dark, bold color, really good registration and centering. Nice big wide borders. It's a sweet cap 150 back. And again, it's a PSA 4. The grade really um, doesn't matter to me at all. Just really like the look of that card. Next up, this is an N76 Great Americans Edgar Allan Poe. This is the uh, Duke Cigarettes uh, set from 1888. SGC3. This is a set that I really like. There's, I have some others from the set, and there are a few that I'm looking for. Um, but this one is also from a Facebook group that I'm in. Uh, has the Raven there. The Edgar Allan Poe is actually a pretty popular card from that set. So I was happy to be able to add that one. Okay, now the uh, Philly non-sports card show. I drove up to Philly yesterday morning early. Um, got there a little after 10, stayed at the show for a couple hours, and then drove back home. So about six hours of driving for maybe three hours at the show, but it was worth it. I had never attended this show before, and I got some good stuff uh, that I will show you in a moment. Um, it's at the same convention center, the Oaks Convention Center, where the regular Philly sports card show is. This show is twice a year. It's in a smaller hall up there. Um, I'll show you a video clip and kind of discuss the show a little bit at the end, but I'll show you my pickups first. I have a lot of stuff to go through. Um, this is another card from the N76 Great American set, Thomas Jefferson. And SGC two and a half. And uh, someone had posted this on Facebook. He mentioned he was going to the show. I asked him to bring it so I could get a better look at it before I bought it. I did end up buying it. Uh, it has a little bit of flaking on the right side there. Not too bad. And a little spot of paper loss. I think that's some paper added also. Um, but nice looking card. So I was happy with that one. Next up. This is probably my favorite pickup from the show yesterday. This is uh, from the 1909 T53 Hassan Cigarettes Cowboy Series. And this card is titled Heading a Stampede. Um, but the reason that I really like this is because you can see it has two stamps on the back. Jeff Burdick and Jeff B. And of course, this card belonged to Jefferson Burdick. Um, I'm not going to discuss it. Length, but he is responsible, of course, for the American card catalog. And this was from his personal collection. Uh, you can find a lot of interesting stuff online about the cards that he stamped. And there are different stamps, including um, some that are on the cards that he donated when he uh, gave his whole collection, I think, to the New York Public Library. Anyway, was pretty excited to find that one. Next up have three cards here from the um, N365 Lone Jack Inventors set from 1887. These are very difficult to find. We have Eli Whitney, 
Captain James Eads, and Charles Goodyear. And uh, there are a few from this set that I would really like to pick up. Alexander Graham Bell, Ben Franklin, and Thomas Edison. Um, but again, very difficult to find. The back is kind of cool on these also. One each of this valuable and interesting collection of the greatest inventors and inventions of the present and past age packed in each box of Lone Jack straight cut Lone Jack and special cigarettes. This edition has been secured at heavy cost and it should be sought after by every smoker. So very cool set. Uh, next up, these are from the 1890 N309 American Eagle Tobacco U.S. President set. We have James Madison. And Ulysses S. Grant. Not sure what the significance of the box there on the bottom is. It almost looks like they were supposed to sign it there, which of course, uh, that's not the actual purpose of it. I don't know why they all have that box. Um, next up, a few more cards from the N76 Great American set. John Logan. General Anthony Wayne. These are lower grade. And John Greenleaf Whittier. All right, next up have a few from the 1911 T77 Hassan Cigarettes Lighthouse Series. I get the lighting a little better here. Um, here we have Boston Auxiliary Light. Cape Cod Light. And Boston Light. Can't seem to get the lighting good today. Um, next up, these are from 1910, the T-42 Bird Series. Uh, two different examples of the American Eagle card with different backs. Sweet Capital on that one. And this one is Mecca Cigarettes. These come with a, a number of different ad, ad backs. Uh, next up from the T-51 Murad Cigarettes College Series from 1910, George Washington University, Columbia, and Boston College. Okay, from 1910 also the T-107 State Seals and National Coat of Arms, uh, two United States cards. That's what the back looks like. I have a couple of these. Every time I see this card, I pick it up. I just kind of like it. These go for a couple bucks. Uh, this set is kind of kind of a cool one. 1910 T70 historical events. And this one is the first shot at Lexington. And um, as I've mentioned before, I, I grew up in Lexington, Massachusetts. So had to grab that one. and also the reading of the Declaration of Independence. All right, next up, uh, from the N85 Duke, Duke Cigarettes postage stamp set from 1889. I've showed these before. Every time I see these, I buy them also. This one has got any Duke stamp cards. of Some kids huddled up looking at their cards. And this one is, give us that card, mister of someone begging the uh, gentleman smoking the cigarette for the card that came out of the pack. Uh, these next cards are uh, strip cards of presidents. These were actually thrown in a deal that I made. I don't even know what uh, design, what set these are from. Ulysses S. Grant. These are all blank backs. William Howard Taft. William McKinley. One's a little blurry. And another William McKinley. All right. This one's kind of neat. This one's from the uh, 1910 
T112 Mogul Cigarettes Toast Series. And this is Mark Twain. It says, here's to the whole world for fear some fool may be forgotten. And the back. All right, this next one, uh, this is from the T59 flag set. And I actually have completed this set. This was the last card that I needed um, when I finished the set. And I had a, a difficult time finding this card. Uh, so when I found this one, saw it in a stack of random stuff, I just decided I would grab it. It's got the Statue of Liberty there, kind of neat. Uh, this is another one from the Bird series. This one has a Piedmont back. Ariel Toucan, just thought that was a cool card. A couple bucks for that one. Uh, another one, this is from the 1910 to 1911 T113 Types of Nations. And I have this card, I have several examples with different backs on it. Grab that one. Uh, these next couple cards, actually, these were eBay pickups, um, not from the show. But these are from the Ogden Cigarettes. I think these are all 1902. And I found some kind of neat ones with early, very early um, images of automobiles. This is His, His Majesty King Edward's Edward the Seventh Daimler motor carriage. Like I said, these are from 1902, so well before the uh, mass-produced Model T, and you know, I think the first automobiles were invented in the 1880s, maybe. So very early automobiles. This is Ricker on his electric. Broke the world's record covering one mile in 63 seconds at the automobile races at Coney Island in 1901. This one is Automobile Club Endurance and Speed Tests. You can see some of the early autos there. That one's a blank back. And then this one's from a different set. This is the Guinea, Ogden's Guinea Gold Cigarettes. Cardinal on a Duroc car. Not sure what a Duroc is. I have to look that up. Thought those were neat for a couple bucks each. And then finally, um, I've been working on this set for a while. These are from the T69 Helmar Historics Home set. And um, I'm close to finishing this set. It's a 50, I believe a 50 card set. And uh, a few upgrades here and a few that I needed. I think I maybe have two or three left that I need. And the last thing I'll show you from the pickups um, these are from the T37 Turkey Red Automobile set. And this is the set that I'm going to uh, start next after I finish the Historic Homes. These are, are really cool. I've been thinking about doing this set for a while. These are a little bit more expensive. Um, really nice artwork on these. And the back has a checklist. Almost all of the um, cards that I see from this set have a stamp. Um, I think it had something to do with the shipping of these, but there's the Mercedes, Benz Racer. I guess I guess before Mercedes and Benz merged. I'm not going to go through all of them. Uh, the Buick, Fiat Racer, just really cool artwork on these. Hotchkiss Racer, the Baker Electric. Uh, again, I'm not going to go through all these. The Renault, Hudson, but uh, cool set. So I'll be working on that one. Um, then finally, just overall, kind of very quickly, some thoughts on the show. Um, I would say probably 75% of the stuff in the room was stuff that I was not interested in, more modern Pokemon type stuff. Um, and there were a handful of dealers that were there that made the trip worthwhile for me that had the kind of stuff that I just showed you, the pre-war kind of random stuff that I like and, you know, digging through boxes, which is what I enjoy. Um, and, uh, you know, this is a show that I would definitely go to again. Um, not a lot of graded uh, pre-war, you know, higher end stuff, but it's just a lot of fun to dig through stuff. You never know what you're going to find, um, like that Jefferson Burdick stamped card. And, um, so overall happy with the trip up there. It was worth the drive. 
And um, now I'll just show you a little clip from the show and um, I will end there and uh, we'll be back with another video soon. Take care guys. Uh, card set. This is from Fright Rags. They're a company out in Rochester, New York. It's a box set. And it's my like bloody Valentine, basically, but this is a, an official movie card photo set. My bloody Valentine.